Hey guys, um, I think this is gonna be kind of like a part two of the same video where I went fishing earlier today and now I'm about to dig into my garden and I have so many tomatoes and some other vegetables to harvest so I'm gonna show you guys a little garden update. These tomatoes are our big boys. I really hope there are no snakes in here but there are a ton of these red tomatoes that need to come off of there. There's so many tomatoes on here right now that these things are just tipping over. And yeah, we need to get quite a few of these off. This is cilantro that did not do too well. So I just pulled this up. I think it's, it's had its run. It's got little like seeds or something on it, but this was cilantro. It does smell, smell good still, but Anyways, back to the tomatoes. This trick. That one's got a little split on it. These are so good. I've had so many um, tomato sandwiches with toasted bread, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and some tomato slices. It's so good. And then we've been freezing some so we can have them for a while. You just dice them up, wash them really good, and then chop them up and freeze them. And I'm also gonna get some of these big green tomatoes too, because my mom wants to do some more pickled um, green tomatoes. They were so yummy. I also love fried green tomatoes. It's so good, so good. That's a perfect size green tomato. So many, it's like, Oh, one just fell. Another good one. <laughs> so these down in here are the um, red onions. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I might want to pull one of them. All right, let's see if one of these is ready. Ooh! Oh what my gosh! <laughs> it's a red onion. That is awesome. I think we've got about four of these, so this one definitely looks good. It's nice and firm. It's perfect. <laughs> They're just coming out of everywhere. The green one, red, little red, ah, little red. <laughs> I'm having an issue over here with my eye. It's just watering like crazy. <laughs> you having an allergic reaction? Know, Maybe some weird. pollen got in there. All right. We'll probably have some more on the other ones too. While I'm right here, let's check on my favorite Peppa plant. These have been on there for quite a while, so they're not huge, but you can see um, they get, you, you can tell when they're like the spiciest, when they've got these little brown marks on there. So if you can see the little brown markings right there, it means it's nice and hot. It's got like little brown streaks on there. These are some big peppers. Jalapenos. It looks like some sort of creature has gotten to this one right here. It's got a hole in it. It's bell pepper. It's been growing for quite a while. We'll get him off of there. Spicy banana peppers. Got some more growing right there. All right, so let's see over here. I probably get another green tomato. Oh my gosh, look at this tomato. <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness. Halloween tomato. Oh, there are some big juicy red ones. Woo! A little rotted. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna chuck that. 
right on the fence. I hit the top of the picket. Damn it. Oh. What, what do you think it was? Like a raccoon? I don't know. I would throw it over there and let them eat it. Yeah, eat them over there. <laughs> Yeah, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, this um, this broccoli kind of gave us like one or two heads. It gave us maybe two or three heads, like two smaller ones and then that huge one that you guys saw in my first video. But since then, um, it's just kind of been growing these little flowering. I'm going to trim all these off and it may produce some more. It might be done though. Yep. So, just a few tomatoes. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're on the other side of this little uh, homemade garden here. And these are some cow horn peppers. These have gotten quite long. Um, I've only had one of these and it wasn't as big, so I let these get a lot bigger. So I'm hoping they're spicier now. Maybe it'll turn red once you let it sit. All right. And then here's some more red bell peppers. They're forming. And then these are um, tomatoes. I mean, <laughs> potatoes right here. Literally. You can, yeah, you can eat them. They say to pick them when they're small like that. They're just as good. Get a few of these. Look Those, how cute. Mm -hmm. Little Yukon potatoes. Well, then there are quite a few of them. And this was our cabbage right here. As you can see, it's gotten completely ravaged by um, slugs or snails or both. But I have done the salt. I've done the little beer can trick with beer in it. As you can see, there's a slug in there. But um, it rains so often, like thunder showers and stuff, thunderstorms, summer storms. Um, so I have to refill those quite a bit. But we've still got a couple cabbages that have not been completely ruined that should have been picked a little while ago but we could probably still eat some of that some of this new stuff here this is um in the corner it's green beans this is lettuce i believe this is watermelon which i'll probably definitely have to relocate once it gets bigger these are beets um, I think this may be, I actually don't even know. I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like a, maybe broccoli. And then this was a uh, cantaloupe, the blackberry bush that's kind of had a struggle situation there. I'm gonna cut this off. More hot banana peppers. Holy cannoli. Look at these puppies. Ooh. Yes, hot banana peppers. definitely gonna do a recipe of some sort with these um, maybe pickle them or at least jar them and freeze some maybe I don't know there, there are a bunch of them coming out oh my gosh I didn't even see this one <laughs> I'm gonna let, I'll let that one keep growing Yes, we've had quite a few little squash. It kind of got eaten um, by the slugs and the snails and I've got so many traps set up in here with the beer and I do salt. Uh, this is pretty sad, hollowed out. I think this zucchini right here, oh, I broke it. Well, we'll eat that for dinner tonight. Um, I think these are ready though, another one down there at the bottom throw these away. before something else gets it yeah they look good really <laughs> again <laughs> elo no 
He says, that's my big bush there. What are y'all doing in my big bush? Oh my gosh, there's a huge one. Oh my gosh, there's a huge one in there. Eat low. <sighs> oh my gosh, we got a good size. It's a nice size zook. Mm -hmm. Harvesting. Eat low. Eat low. Stop it. What? Yeah, let's see if this one. Oh, something damn like slugs. this wash. Mm. That's gross. So that was pretty much the new garden tour. So I'm back inside now. I have this huge basket full. I mean, it is completely full. Catching your own fish or harvesting your own meat and your vegetables, I love it. Share it with neighbors and friends and freeze some for the winter too. I've been sweaty. <laughs> it's been a long, hot summer day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. You guys know the drill. I love you guys so much and thank you for almost 60K. That's crazy. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! This shirt is available on my Teespring. It says Fish Like a Girl, and on the back it's got my Low Red Lures logo on it. In case you were interested, um, the link will be down in the description. All right, guys. Bye.